I had reached a point in my life, um, uh, really it was after my mother passed away, um, that I took stock of my life and thought, what is it that I wanted to do? Um, how did I want to make my mark on the world? Um, and uh, I thought, really what I wanted to do most was change the world. So I threw my resume to the wind after my mother died. And uh, about six months later, I was actually in process for another job in Chicago when I got a call from the Florida Holocaust Museum that they wanted to talk to me about this job. And I honestly didn't remember applying for it. Um, and I thought, Florida, why would I want to go to Florida? And, um, uh, and the whole idea of being in charge of a Holocaust Museum sounded a little bit like a bummer. Um, but I started to talk to the people here. And the whole focus of this museum is about hope. How do we use the lessons of the past to help transform our future? How do we give people tangible tools so that they can make their communities better, their state better, though really it gets down to making the world a better place. And the Holocaust is such a stark example of what happens um, when man's inhumanity is at its very worst. That's why it's such a, an important place to look back to. Um, but you can't look back at the Holocaust or any part of history without understanding its relevance and implications for today. And that's the exciting part of what we do. Not only are we preserving these stories, but there's a real important reason why these stories need to be preserved. And what's wonderful about this museum in particular, and what drew me here as opposed to another Holocaust institution where I, I, I'm not sure I would have ended up in just any Holocaust institution, um, are the many portals in which we do that. 